Welcome to another edition of the Let's Talk Show. I'm your host, Andrew James, and today I'm pleased to have with us in studio via Zoom, Ms. Sayini Fraser, um, former beauty ambassador for Guyana in the year 2010 to 2016, Miss Universe 2016, and uh, Ms. Fraser is also the owner-operator of Royal Suede and the Queen Collection located in Guyana, South America. Hi, Andrew. Good afternoon and good afternoon to everybody who is viewing or good morning or good evening, whatever time you're viewing. Hello, hello, hello. I'm coming to you from beautiful Georgetown, Guyana, my home country, the place that has my heart. Y'all don't know how much I love this beautiful land of mine. Very good. Welcome to the show. I'm so excited to have you on. Ms. Fraser, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, please? Sure. Um, I'm Soyini Fraser, as Andrew would have said. Uh, fun fact, even though I'm Guyanese, my name is Ghanaian Muslim. So a lot of the times when I'm outside of the shores of Guyana, people mistake me for a Ghanaian girl, which is always funny to me. I have been a Guyanese lover my entire life. I love our culture. I love our food. And most importantly, I love showcasing what Guyana has to offer to the entire world. When I'm not doing that, I love to take walks on the beach. I love, love, love animals, specifically dogs. And I like to cook. I am a huge, huge foodie. You would never know if you look at me though, cause I'm slim and trim, but I love <laughs> to eat. <laughs> I do. If you've ever tasted a Guyanese dish, you can understand why it's so hard not to splurge on our food. Very good. I was snooping through some of your Facebook pictures and I noticed uh, some really nice shots there. Um, yes. Tell us what it is that you do to maintain yourself looking so nice, young, slim, trim, and healthy, if you don't mind sharing with our listening audience, please. Oh, I would love to share that. The first thing that I do is I mind my own business. I find people are always in other people's business. When you mind your own business, you glow from the inside out. So take note, mind your own business today. Secondly, I drink a lot of water, which causes me to go to the bathroom a lot, which also causes me to mind my own business. You know what I mean? I also don't take a lot of night dew. I don't take harsh sun. I exercise three to five times a week. And I also laugh and love the people around me. These are all things that help to maintain my youthful glow. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Can you tell us a little bit about your business, please? Royal Suede and the Queen Collection. And if you don't mind sharing with us um, your price points. I'm um, doing the conversion from Guyana dollars to US if at all possible. Okay, sure. Well, Royal Slays is my baby. I started in 2018 and it is my makeup business. I do makeup and I also do manicures, pedicures, facials, and I'm trying to expand to do body massages and so forth. I love the beauty industry. As you can tell, I've been a beauty ambassador for seven years in Guyana. So I love the beauty industry. And I believe that women's most confident and beautiful asset as a woman is taking care of herself. When a woman takes care of herself, it shows. And she glows from the inside out and she allows everybody around her to do the same subconsciously. So Royal Slays by Suyuni Fraser is a company that I use to highlight the queen in every client that I touch. Just two weeks ago, I had a young girl come to me and when she was finished and I showed her family her makeup, her mother did, I don't know, me daughter could have looked so nice. Mm -mm. And you can see that this little girl, her entire being was lifted because she realized that there is a queen inside of her. And that is why I started Royal Slays because I want everybody, male and female, because men wear makeup too, to feel like royalty. I want them to embrace their highest self. Mm -hmm. And the Queen Collection also complements Royal Slays because the Queen Collection I started last year and it is my jewelry line. I purchase jewelry and I resell them, but I also 
make my own packaging, make my own labels, make it unique to my brand. I love, love, love statement pieces. I like big earrings. I like chunky chains. And I like when you walk into a room, people do that double take. That is what the Queen Collection by <laughs> Soyuni Fraser is all about. When you walk into a room, people are going to double take. And that is what we want. Very good. Excellent. In terms of price points, what are we looking at, if you don't mind sharing with us? Just give us a slight range. Okay, sure. When we talk about makeup, it starts at 5,000 Guyana dollars or 25 US dollars. Mm -hmm. That is for a basic look. If you want something super glam, you want some uh, makeup look that is over the top, you want mink lashes, depending on what you want. I sit with my clients and I discuss with them because sometimes a girl comes and she wants a specific look, but that may not be the look that may accentuate her best features. Right. So I try to speak to my clients in a way that will make them understand that this, you bring a picture to me, but you and that girl don't necessarily have the same facial structure. But at the same time, I want them to know that they are beautiful and that they can look even better than that, depending on what direction we go. So it starts at $5,000, but I also do extra. Like every time a client leaves, they have a little baggie with extra lip gloss or lipstick that they can retouch themselves throughout the night. If it's a bride, uh, makeup for that starts at $10,000. And I tend to stay with my brides on from the wedding ceremony up until all the makeup uh, necessities are over. That means the photo shoot after the wedding, whether they go by coffee or they go to the gardens or the beautiful I Love Guyana sign that's right next to Pegasus Hotel, whatever their needs for photography, and makeup wise, I stay with them until I don't stay for the reception, but I stay until I feel they've had all the confidence that I can give them for the day. Because sometimes I have brides and it's the first time that that person will be wearing makeup. So they don't quite know the do's and don'ts. And you can't run an entire makeup tutorial in somebody's head while they're making such a life changing decision. So I stay with them and I ease them through the process. Very good. Um, if someone's trying to get in touch with you, um, you got a website, are you on Facebook? Can you share with us how folks can uh, get in touch with you? Okay, yes. I am on Facebook. I have my page Royal Slays by Suyuni Fraser. I also uh, have my page The Sauce with Soy, which is my mini vlog series where I just share whatever's on my mind and all the tidbits that I've learned over the years because it took a lot for me to come to this place and to be so mature and to be so understanding and I know it's a process and not everybody has a person in their life that can help them through difficult situations so I'm going to be your best friend from afar essentially very nice, very nice. nicely said it seems like a bundle of joy uh, and especially at Christmas time I know a lot of people might be trying to get in touch with <laughs> Are you single by any chance? I don't mean to be presumptuous, but I just got, I just have to ask. <laughs> yes, yes, I am single. I am happily single, but I am open to changing that. So if you're out there and you're looking for a beautiful guy in this queen, get at your girl. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you still single? Why? Um, it's a choice that I've made. Uh, I changed that status briefly last year however the person and I did not work out because one of the things that I put above everything else in a relationship most people focus on love I focus on respect I believe mm -hmm. that respect should be the cornerstone of every relationship love sometimes it's like a river it goes and it comes and that's understandable because we're all different beings and we go through different situations in our life that can cause us to re respond differently However, if respect is the pillar and the cornerstone of your relationship, no matter what's happening, you will remain respectful to your partner because that person is going through their own situations that you know nothing about, even if you live together, even if you sleep next to that person every night. So I decided to end that situation because it was not serving me and it was not something that made me feel good. And there was respect had left the building, for lack of a better term. And I know what I deserve, and I'm going to add tax to that. And I'm going to add a little extra to that too. So if respect is no longer being served, this mutual understanding is no longer being served, 
And if honesty is not being maintained, I'm out. Very good. Nice to say. Thank you for sharing that with us, Ms. Fraser. Yeah. What advice or what words of encouragement would you give to a young girl? Oh, hi, everybody. To them. The first thing that you need to do when finding yourself is stop comparing yourself to other people. That is the quickest way to send you into depression. It will make you feel bad and it is pointless. And I'll break down why it is pointless. Each and every one of us on this planet have an entirely different DNA composition. We have different fingerprints. The only people who are identical, and that's only in DNA, are identical twins in mannerisms and behaviors. They are different. You are an individual. You are unique. You are precious. You are extraordinary. When I was a young girl, don't let all this makeup and all this confidence fool you. I was little with nappy hair, black, and I used to smell like the sun. Mm. And being a dark-skinned black girl growing up in Guyana, the Kaya Bun Bake, oh, look, the bottom of your shoe, and all these things. But I knew that from my mother talking to me that people only attack what they envy. You know what I mean? Yeah. People would... Little boys don't throw stones at trees without fruits. Mm. It's pointless. Mm. So if you feel that you are under undue attack, just know that you have something that somebody sees that they envy. What I want you to do now is to look inside yourself. Look in the mirror and change the narrative. Change what you're saying to yourself. Because a lot of times when you are young, especially when you are not the quote unquote standard of beauty according to Guyanese standards. And every area has a different standard. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. if you are not that standard, know this, that you are precious, that you are loved, that no matter what happens, you are somebody with a purpose. Mm -hmm. Each and every one of you out there, you are young girls who are literally holding generations in your hands. Because each one of us represents a different lineage and a different generation. What I want you to know is that it doesn't matter what struggles you are going through now. There is always another day that's going to come. Sometimes you're in a situation and it seems like it will never end. I have been there. There are times in my life when I felt this is going to be the one that will do me in. But I purposed in my heart to always, one, put my best foot forward. Two, don't listen to any advice or criticism from anybody that is tailored to tear me down and make me feel bad. You can listen to what somebody has to say, but if you realize that what they're saying is tailored to tear you down and make you feel bad, ignore that. It may be hard, but following the crowd as a young person will get you nowhere. Mm. People who really shine in this life are those who go against the grain. Only dead fish swim with the tide. Every other living thing goes against the grain. So as you go through your school years, if you can't be somebody that is welcoming and warm and treats people with, you know, kindness, then just keep to yourself. Mm -hmm. Kindness is something that is free and it liberates persons. You'll be surprised that you walk into a room and you smile at one person. That person probably didn't have anybody smile at them for the day or the week or the month. And you change that person's entire world. So as you look at me today, just know that I didn't just wake up one morning and I became Miss Guyana. It took work. And the first step is realizing that I have something that is valuable that this world needs. Good for you. Very nicely said. Can you share a little bit about your experience growing up in a single parent uh, family dynamic? And what advice would you give to a young uh, mother that's, uh, you, know, you know, raising a child alone? Uh, you know, you plan your life. Like my mom and my father got married and they had my brother before me. And unfortunately, he died. And then I came along. Then my little brother after me. And when I was nine years old, my father died. Mm. And it was the worst thing. Even to this day, it was the worst thing that has ever happened in my life. Mm. 
but what I what I want to share with them is that women can't be broken unless they want to be. You have no idea how resilient you are as a young woman. Yeah. Women are givers. We're creators. We're meant to bear the pressure of bringing new life into this world. There's nothing that can break you, darling. And if you're a child who is in a single parent household, I want you to understand that your mother or your father, because men are single parents too, they're under tremendous strain. Raising a child is not an easy task. And raising a child on your own is twice as hard. So whatever you can do, and when I say that, I mean washing up the wares, helping with the dishes. If you have younger brothers or sisters, helping them get ready for school, helping them get something to eat, simple things. Mm. At no point in time should the financial burden of any family fall on a child. That is not what I mean by helping out however you can. Financial mm. burdens are for adults to bear. Mm. And if you're in a house where a parent is forcing you to go out there and engage in activities that are not lawful, you need to report it to the child care and protection agency. That is not something that you should be doing. What you can do though, is if your father or your mother comes home, you don't greet them with the problem. Say, you know what, daddy, this is what I did in school today, especially when you get good grades or if you don't understand something or you know your parent likes talking about a particular subject. Help them relieve some of the stress. When my mom would come in after my fa father died, sorry, mm. for about two years after, because my father died when I was nine, I wrote common entrance like a year and a half after. And my mom, I didn't see her for about two years. On and off, I might see her in passing because she worked to make sure that my brother and I were having a good education. Mm. So if you're one of those children in a household where you hardly see your parent because they're trying to provide a better life for you, appreciate it whatever you have don't complain appreciate one of the things i want single parent household children to know is that if you complain and you condemn things you repel them when you are nice to your parents you're nice to what you have you care what you have you attract more that is one of the reasons why the rich get richer and the poor get poorer because the rich appreciate they understand the value of things. But sometimes when we may not have what we think we should have, we tend to murmur and complain. Don't do that. All you're doing is making it harder for yourself. Because think about it. If somebody treats you badly, would you want to be around that person? Mm. You would not. And it's the same principle, even though these are things that don't have souls or beings or they're not alive, the same principle applies. So just know that you can make it. There is nothing stopping you. The sky is not even the limit because there are people on the moon. There are people exploring <laughs> the galaxy. No, sorry to hear about the passing of your dad at age nine. I know that must have been really, yeah. really hard. Um, and in yes. spite of that, I'm proud of you that you so, you know, managed to fight along with your brother and your mom. And, and you, um, these matters say you, you've done very well for yourself in spite of your situation. You experienced yeah. as a young kid. The young child, sorry. Uh, Ms. Fraser, we're just up against time, but uh, my, my, my closing question to you is, um, what can we expect from Mrs. Uh, Ms. Fraser in the next three years? I know it's a big question, but I, I, I mean, we have you on, so why not? <laughs> no, it's not that big of a question. Uh, right now, I am in the process of working on my businesses. Because of the pandemic, I was forced to close the location that I was sharing with my mother because my mother has a holistic medicine practice called the Eldorado Wellness Center, where she, she practices homeopathic remedies that can help persons better live their life. And it starts with dieting, with exercise, and with understanding the type of body you have and the type of metabolism. So I worked along with my mother in that aspect, mm -hmm. but unfortunately, because of COVID-19, we were forced to close our location. However, since the authorities have given the go-ahead to relax some of the safety measures they have put in place, we have a new location, not far from the old one, at 205 West Half Child Street. And you can get me on 225-9134 or 
627-6811. If you want to book a makeup appointment or if you want to see the catalog of jewelry I have, my displays are on Guyana Marketplace and I will be starting an Instagram page uh, at Slade dot by soy so that you can view everything that I have to offer. But in the next three years, I am looking to take my two brands that I already have to the next level and also to make my mini vlog series on Facebook right here into a talk show because there are so many things that I have not yet touched on and some of my friends have been reaching out to me for collaborations, but it's timing. There's only 24 hours in the day and I do so much already, but I know what I have embarked on is going to help and bless a young woman who's watching at me who thinks that she can't make it to garner the strength. And even if I can just help one person, I will be contented because it only takes one person to be changed and be touched for the ripple effect to happen. And if you're out there and you want to make your mark on the world, don't just focus on the big picture. The grassroots work is what really does change in this world. It's the ripple effect. You help one person and they help another and so it goes on and so forth. So I want everybody out there that's watching, that's listening to know nothing that you dream is too big. Very nothing. Good. Very good. We're just up against time there, Mrs. Fraser. Anyone you want to send uh, 2021 20, um, uh, New Year's Day wishes to? But this Anyone is your perfect opportunity. I know we just passed Christmas. It was just a few days ago, but we're quickly approaching the New Year. Anyone, any special person in your life or any special individuals you want to shout out? You see, you're putting me on the spot. You know, you're asking for single <laughs> and then you want to shout out somebody special. <laughs> I want to say to the Guyanese public a very prosperous 2021. As a people, 2020 was a rough year. Things be real wrong in 2020. Mm. But 2021, we're looking for bigger and better opportunities for our people. And we're also looking to enjoy that year. There are so many things that each and every one of us had planned for 2020. All you need to do is bounce your plans over to 2021. Do not give up on what you plan to do. Ms. Fraser, thank you very much for sharing your time with us and your advice and your inspiration. And tell us a little bit about more about what Miss Guyana Universe 2016 has been up to. It's been fantastic sitting down and, and spending some time with you and Zoom. Um, I look forward to continuing this conversation at a later time. Um, best wishes on your upcoming show. Um, please let us know what we can do to assist you to ensure that this becomes a reality and it's successful. Keep smiling, keep shining, keep drinking water. And as you said earlier, <laughs> keep minding your own business. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Have a good night. Stay safe. God bless you. And, you know, keep on doing what you're doing. We'll talk later. Good night. Stay safe. Bye.